Why SpaceX wants this insane rocket? Elon Musk is a very busy man because he has to handle eight companies at a time. Each of them lives with their goals, but the well-owned private space manufacturer, SpaceX, has some out-of-the-box goals, although their leader is Elon Musk. Musk started SpaceX with an aim to establish a permanent colony on Mars that will eventually allow humanity to become not just multiplanetary but also interstellar. But to reach Mars, he needs a special type of rocket that has much more and modified tech than the traditional ones we have right now. Well, are you excited to know more about this rocket? Then stay tuned in the video. Welcome to Elon Musk Newest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss the newest updates on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship or anything related to Mr. Elon Musk. A perfect channel for everything about human evolution and exploration and today we are going to tell you about this insane rocket that SpaceX wants to carry out its Mars mission. You might have guessed it until now, it is none other than Starship. So without any further ado, let's begin. The spaceship we now call as Starship once used to be known as the BFR, Big Falcon Rocket, and ITS, Interplanetary Transport System. Along with the name change, SpaceX defined its conception for how it would move all its operations to the Starship platform someday. At its most basic, Starship is a super heavy lift rocket that can ferry large shipments to space. The Starship is actually the second stage of a two-stage vehicle to do just that. Starship is the crucial part with all the cargo and crew inside, but it's stacked on a first stage known as the Super Heavy. SpaceX piled up the two stages for the first time in summer 2021. But why are they using another rocket, Super Heavy, to launch it to space? SpaceX says Super Heavy is vital to get the spacecraft out of Earth's gravity well with ample fuel to get where it's going. Starship can then hike to its destination, for example, Mars, and then launch itself back to space without Super Heavy thanks to the lower gravity. The Starship is completely reusable, but the jury is still out on the Super Heavy segments. SpaceX has gotten good at landing Falcon 9 boosters, but this rocket is comparatively huge. CEO Elon Musk has said the company plans to try hooking Super Heavy with a launch tower, but that doesn't sound easy even for the company that built the Falcon 9. Starship, without Super Heavy, is 160 feet tall and has a diameter of 30 feet. That makes it quite roomier than the Falcon 9, which is 12 feet in diameter. Starship also sports six 3D printed Raptor engines, giving it 5,550 kilonewtons of thrust. Three of the engines are built for sea level use, and the other three are for use in vacuum. They use subcooled liquid methane and liquid oxygen propellants. Meanwhile, Super Heavy has a whopping 33 Raptor engines, currently 29 in the prototype. These will all be sea level variants, giving the stacked rocket a total blast off thrust of 74,000 kilonewtons. And if everything goes according to plan, next month SpaceX will launch the largest rocket in human history. Looming nearly 400 feet tall, the rocket, Starship, is designed to take NASA astronauts to the moon. But SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, has bigger ambitions. He wants to use it to put humans on Mars. Starship is like, wow, says James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University. In mid-November, speaking in a publicly available virtual meeting about Starship, hosted by the US National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, Musk discussed the project's scientific potential. It's extremely important that we try to become a multi-planet species as quickly as possible, he said. Along the way, we will learn a great deal about the nature of the universe. Starship could carry a lot of scientific instrumentation on flights, said Musk, far more than is currently possible. We'd learn a tremendous amount compared to having to send fairly small vehicles with limited scientific instrumentation, which is what we currently do, he said. You could get a 100-ton object to the surface of Europa, added Musk. NASA is also interested in Starship. The agency has smudged SpaceX to deliver the human landing system, HLS, for the upcoming Artemis moon landing. The idea is that the HLS Starship will meet up with the Orion capsule in lunar orbit, where the crew will switch to SpaceX's vehicle. It will descend to the moon and bring astronauts back to orbit once surface operations are complete. And in November 2021, SpaceX may not be quite ready for a flight. In any case, Musk said SpaceX would perform a bunch of tests of the Starship vehicle and its Super Heavy booster in December. The company has yet to conduct most of those tests. Starship, which is the gigantic next-generation rocket, SpaceX is developing to launch cargo and people on missions to the moon and Mars. The company has already commenced testing prototypes at a facility in southern Texas and has passed multiple short test flights. 
SpaceX also wants the Starship to be fully reusable, with both the rocket and its booster skilled of landing after a launch to be retained for future flights. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets are partially reusable. The company can regularly land and relaunch the boosters, but not the upper portion or the stage of the rocket. SpaceX also aims to launch as many as a dozen Starship test flights this year, said Musk, to complete the test flight program and move to launch real payloads in 2023. He also feared that forging a mass production line for Starship is crucial to the program's long-term goals, reporting that the current biggest constraint on rocket manufacturing is how fast the company can build the Raptor engines needed for Starship. SpaceX will also use the Starship to deploy larger flocks of Starlink internet satellites. Currently, the Falcon 9 can take 60 of the microsatellites into orbit at a time, but the company strives to have a constellation consisting of 12,000 satellites before long. That could be enhanced by tens of thousands, relying on regulatory approval. The Starship, with its larger capacity, will make that happen quicker, possibly to the fluster of astronomers. Elsewhere, some scientists have plans of using Starship to visit other stars. René Heller from the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research in Germany and colleagues say that Starship could give a low-cost way to test technologies for a spacecraft that can travel multiple light years to neighboring star systems. Starship could also release a sail-powered spacecraft on a trip to Mars, which would use an onboard laser to push against a thin cruise and reach incredible speeds, stimulating a rally to be conducted beyond Earth's orbit. If SpaceX were kind enough to take one of our sails on board and just release it halfway on its journey to Mars, we should be able to follow its acceleration and path through the solar system for a few days and almost to the orbit of Jupiter, says Heller. Other ideas encompass using Starship to send a probe to orbit Jupiter's volcanic moon, Io, a risky task without a vast lifting capacity. It's extremely challenging because of both getting yourself into orbit and protecting yourself from Jupiter's harsh radiation says Alfred McEwen, a planetary geologist from the University of Arizona. But Mars helps those things. You can have plenty of fuel and radiation shielding. According to the most recent measures from SpaceX, the quickest potential flight to Mars without a crew would be in 2024. But that is around the same time SpaceX will be operating on the Artemis HLS. Although it would not be shocking to see Mars take a backseat to more abrupt concerns, there are, of course, very good reasons to be careful. While Starship has flown test flights without the Super Heavy booster, we have yet to see the full rocket launch. It's an extremely huge and tricky machine that could still experience problems in its development. SpaceX and Musk too have once been notoriously cavalier with timelines and goals, and Starship's chosen method to reach the Moon and Mars, counting on multiple refueling missions in Earth orbit, remains complex and untested. Although once finalized, Starship could also stimulate more outrageous missions to other locations, either via a direct launch from Earth or possibly by using the Moon and Mars as refueling stations. A driving future fantasized by Musk. Well, we are eager to see where this goes and also excited to see people land on Mars. And to stay updated, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on Starship and its expeditions. See you in the next one.